Wow, look at this motherfucking whore. This piece of... Oh, God. This piece of... Ugh. Ugh, I can't even think of the word to describe her. But I can think of a few um, paragraphs to describe her. This is Nicole Opter. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I am Lord Frieza. I am the Emperor of the Universe, but also a person who's against suicide. Let me tell you what this has to do with Nicol Arbiter. Basically, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but basically what she is doing, she is the reason suicides are spreading. Let me tell you, the stuff she's spewing, I have been looking over her videos. Uh, here, let me jump up to something. Oh my god, I am screwed rolling through this shit and I'm thinking what the hell is this like you could just see me the more shocked expression than when I was like oh facing against the super saiyan back on them like, look my youtube can't handle all this hate oh god oh uh, what the oh shit I'm back Jesus I accidentally yeah, yeah, oh god yeah. kill it that someone opened that I did not open that someone did but anyway this horror. <laughs> oh god I'm looking at this one video called I love Donald Trump that's is that a joke it's not oh my god but anyway back on topic Nicole Arbiter has been insulting black people fat people basically religious people and I have to say this to to her. What the fuck is this? You... Oh my god, she says I'm Jesus. What the hell? I wish that one, that one right there, the dead one, is true. But anyway, I keep getting off topic because I'm looking at these videos. That's how shocked I am. That's how bad this problem is. Let me point out something. And this has to do with Nicole Alda, even though it doesn't sound like it. I don't know if I'm saying her name wrong. I don't know. But, um, basically, all throughout the internet... I have been encountering people who kept saying, kill yourself, you're a fucking douchebag, go to hell. And multiple other insults, like, I like to beat up kids with autism, they don't have any lives, I uh, I don't know why people are doing this when in reality they probably don't have lives and just taking out their anger on these people. Oh, that's it, I think I just discovered what Nicole Arbor's uh, problem is. The fact that her this is just a theory, so don't take it to heart. But it's a theory. It is a theory that could be true. She came from a super religious home, and she had an obese problem. But I, I'm not saying this is true. This is only a theory. Because I rap on psychology. I don't... Psychology. Ah, I said it wrong because I'm shocked at these videos. But I'm reading up on that, and I discovered, oh god, not again, um, but I discovered that people who insult other people is because they have a problem or a problem similar to the victim, and it's horrifying, it is legit horrifying, oh my god, she's insulting transgender people and vegans, wow! I'm telling you, she is going to go to hell. And not only that, I'm looking at these videos. Like, these sin videos are not insults in itself. But just looking at the title, it's enough to tell you something's wrong. Like, how to get laid on Valentine's Day? What the hell? How to stay sexy? I think I know who she is. She's a fucking whore. Not that I'm saying anything, but she sounds like a very, very, very highly judgmental prostitute. And it's horrifying. I've even seen one of her videos where she mentioned she likes to suck penis. And I'm thinking, what? And, uh, basically, this whole entire video is a rant about Nicole, but also, to spread suicide awareness. 
I mean, I'm thinking she's a horrible woman, and this is coming from me, Lord Freezer, and I'm a horrible person. Don't get me wrong. But... I want to know what compels this woman to do what she does. She is no different than Trump. That's what I have to say. She's the female Donald Trump. Except she's not running for president, thank God. Otherwise this country would be more fucked than it already is. But, anyway. Trump and Nicole both spew insults to religion, to race, and to whatever the hell's out there. Trump? Oh God, don't get me started about Trump. I'm going to make a rant about him in a different video. But basically what he's been saying is he's been spewing insults about women. Basically religion and race. This is how you start wars, people. This is how you start wars. And then she's basically doing the same thing. And let me tell you why this is a huge problem. People take this, these videos, to heart, and then eventually start committing suicide, which is a growing problem in the world. And now, thanks to this woman and other people, and basically, ever since the internet's release, people have been trying to... People believe that the internet is a place of free speech. And it's horrible. It is goddamn horrible. I'll tell you why. Not because of the free speech thing. It's because people believe they have the right to harass people. Let me tell you a story I've heard on the internet. Basically what happened was, this one family lost their son in a tragic car crash. This one asshole who did not live far from them decided to target them on the internet. And started attacking them about insulting blogs about the car crash on the internet. And starting to make fun of the incident. Basically, that's what people do. They start to make fun of incidents that are horrible for a family. And it makes me... Oh god, I just saw this other one. Dear refugees and dear parents. How to get a threesome. Good god, woman! Jesus, get off my... Get off YouTube. Even though I do agree abortion is kind of wrong, but, but that's just my opinion. But she's pushing her opinions on other people, saying that her word is technically law. And I want to know, what compels her to do this? What? Like, how the hell does this woman, she breathes and speaks like a horrible person. She's like the typical... Female high school bully. You know, like, from that movie you saw about high school, where this one woman starts being the complete and total asshole to the protagonist. And basically, that's what reminds me of this woman, is basically teenage antagonists. But still. She has zero right to do any of this. I am not surprised she's... I'm, I have been commenting on her videos recently. And... What I've... Oh... Oh... I, been, I just read those two at the bottom. God damn it, Nicole. Interrupting my fucking speech about you. God. I can't even do this. I, I can't do this without fucking... Ugh. Oh, dear sluts. Ironic, it takes a slut to know a slut. <laughs> but yes, I'm an insulting her. Of course I have. But that's only because the crap she says, it's just horrible. That I had to retaliate with an insult. I know she's probably going to retaliate to this video like she has been doing to other people multiple times. And I'm not surprised that dude uh, broke up with her. I forgot his name, but he's a—he's actually pretty famous. I forgot his name, and he's famous. Crap. But... Okay. This is one last final message. This is to Nicole herself. Stop. Just, just stop. What you're doing is one of the reasons why people attempt suicide. Like, people... 
are looking at this, taking it to heart, and then trying to kill themselves. And this is my message to people who are trying to kill themselves, other people like this. Don't listen to them. Their opinions don't matter. And just... And remember, you have friends, family, loved ones who do not want to see you go by your own will to kill yourself. Like... But I am so glad you're not. I'm so glad you people are more likely at retaliating to this. And God knows what she has in this How to Deal with Death video. Probably something horrible. And she's showing off a cleavage. Oh, God. Ah, oh, God. She keeps dropping bombshells, and it's horrifying. But anyway, this has been Lord Freezer. And all to say this, Nicole, God knows how long you've been doing shit like this. But if you keep this up, you are going to be labeled as the biggest bitch in the world, and you will probably be publicly shunned and tossed to God knows where. I'm not joking, this is how you get shunned in the real world. People think that on the internet, they have zero consequence. But really, people can report you. And people can easily find you, like they did to that dude who harassed that poor family. They arrested him. And that was me dropping the fucking bomb. And Nicole is probably going to be the next on the list to be one of the many people who harassed a huge group of people. A huge group. Like, I could tell the entire world is looking at this one channel and thinking, what the fuck is wrong with this woman? I'm not even looking at her fucking thing. It looks she looks like a a freaking she looks like a prostitute. Go team, what team are you on? Team fucking slut. Um, but anyway, this is uh, this is Lord Freezer, and this is actually a pretty serious video. I hope you all listen to my advice. Stop listening to people like Nicole and start. And start reporting her. This woman does not deserve to have a channel at all. She's only been suspended a few times. But she doesn't deserve to have a channel at all. This is the bombshell I'm dropping on her. For everything she's done. This has been Lord Frieza signing out. Also, thank you for all the subscribers. It's been very much appreciated. Goodbye.